a great discovery on my travel, a beach in the middle of nowhere with no one to swim on, very muddy and dirty and overflowing with dirt, which comes from the Great Tugela River, which is the largest river in Guazulu Natal, which stretches about 531 kilometers in length. There is a village that is growing just nearby the ocean and with a great view of the ocean. A great potential for those who want to build in the rural areas in South Africa. Please join me as I'll be taking you through this village. my channel and thank you for tuning in my name is Velile I am a lifestyle blogger from South Africa if you're new on this channel you are very much welcome and please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video on this channel we talk about everything lifestyle from home decor home living but we are mostly focused on rural development in South Africa everything that is happening in the rural areas that look so beautiful from the houses to the infrastructure development as well as employment and how they live, the lifestyle and the way of living. Talking about the way of living, before we embark on our journey to see the village that I'm talking about, guys, when I arrived in Johannesburg, I decided to just take a seven-day fasting journey of me praying and getting in touch with myself, preparing myself for work, preparing myself for the city and everything that has to come with the city. So for the whole seven days, guys, all I've been eating is fruits and vegetables. I hope the new year is treating you very well because I am starting to get to know myself. I'm getting ready for the city and its stress and everything that comes with it. I had to do this for my own whole being, for my body and soul and my mental stability. And now I'm getting back to business. I'm on the road traveling so that I can showcase the beautiful rural areas of South Africa for you. And today we are going towards the Tugela Mouth, which is in Mandeni. Situated in the north coast of KwaZulu-Natal, this spot has so much potential. It is one of the favorite spots for fishing. You find dolphins around here. For tourism, this is heaven. It is another treasure that we have found, and I found it for you guys. The Tugela Mouth, just on the other side of Mandeni, less than two hours from the city of Deben, is now a home to many rural families who have decided to build their homes on the left side of the river as it flows into the ocean. The village I'm going to be talking about is governed by tribal authority and under Chief Mataba of Emma Kambini. And I'm going to be showing you this village, guys, because I see a potential for so many things and especially where it is situated. And I found out that there's still many plots that are still available around here, ranging from 50,000 up. This growing village has a lot of potential for tourism business and also for those who are retiring and want a peaceful place to live, as well as those people who are young and want to start afresh and build their own homes in a place where they can be able to invest a lot and also create business for themselves. These plots are very huge. I've noticed as I'm driving around here, they are very huge. And then also, I'm still finding a lot of plots that are very empty. As we drive around, you'll see what I'm talking about. As you can see, Further, further, further behind that house, as you see it, you can see the ocean as dark as it is right now. It is looking so dull, but it is said that the, uh, the ocean has been really attacked by the overflow of dead coming from the river. It is said that during this festive season, because of the rains that South Africa has been facing, that is the reason why the ocean looks the way it looks. Let me take you on a tour of this village. I'll leave you with music so that you can enjoy.
interesting to watch because just under three decades ago, the seaside homes would have been preserved for one sector of our society. Now we are finding people living beautifully in the rural areas just next to the sea and having a great view of the sea as you can see. How things have changed in South Africa for the great and people are seizing this opportunity. If you are looking at building a house or building your home for your family in the rural areas, this should be the spot for you. As I was driving around, I noticed that there were security left and right around this ocean. Then I asked the question, what is happening? They said it is being guarded because no one is allowed to swim at this moment. The harsh rainfalls that we've been experiencing in South Africa these days have kept us all indoors and we haven't been able to enjoy some. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but I have noticed that. <music> dynamics of our society are so obvious here at the Tugela mouth because just across on the other side of the ocean there are houses occupied by the white people of South Africa. I guess this is the reason why I love my province KwaZulu Natal because things like this you don't find them happening somewhere else but KwaZulu Natal when it comes to land issues things are very much clear so maybe that's the reason why but that is the story of another day. I obviously would like to research more about this and find out for you guys so that we can get the perspective of what is happening around here. I can think of so many reasons why people want to be situated around the Tukela mouth because as I said, it is really heaven for tourism. And also it is not situated too far from Watubuza where the Shaka's crawl is situated. So as I said, this area is a potential for business if you want to establish a business around tourism and also for farming as well and so many other things, starting a BNB and also you know, opening your house to many other people who are coming from outside of South Africa to come as a part of accommodation that you can provide for people. The area is fantastic for investment, so think about it. I would love people if they want to have any questions around this area to know that I do not have any contact details of the chief or anybody else who can give you a site, please research on your own because that might help you to discover more of the things I was unable to discover. I'm giving you and showcasing you this beautiful side of the rural areas for you to be able to take it further if you want to invest around here. The area falls under Ilembe Municipality or Ilembe District Municipality in Guazulu Natal. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Thank you for taking me this far and if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate you and we really appreciate you helping us grow this family. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.